What's up guys? I had a request from uh, Emin to uh, just show him the, uh, the the electric box and uh, I just remembered so I guess I'm gonna show you guys the electric box this right here is for the water electrodes when the tank gets empty the mixer that mixes up the water will shut off and the unit will shut off when the tank's empty and then when it fills up the mixer turns on and the unit turns on no sense in the thing working while there's no water in the tank and I went with uh, ABB and um, Alan Bradley <coughs> these are our overloads and this is an overload also my contactors I went with part winding start two contactors for the 35 horsepower Copeland and these are for my four condenser fans one two th one two three four condenser fans one two three four condenser fans this is your water mixer water mixer over here you got your uh, cooling solenoid and you got your water solenoid water solenoid is the one that uh, I'll have a two inch pipe coming into the tank and uh, when the thing is empty the electrode senses that uh, the thing is empty the tanks empty and um, <clears throat> turns the system off and turns the water solenoid on so it fills the tank and this is your on and off switch Oh, did I show that? Yeah. And that's about it. I do all this stuff my own on my own. Put the pressure stats. Whoa, I didn't close that one up. Morning dew. <clears throat> Make the chassis, everything. Do it by myself. just a little next time I'll show you guys this it'll be running well, this is the other unit uh, I just need to paint this pipe red I have the last weld done I ran out of a, a fitting right up there so, couldn't finish it. A little bit of insulation work. And, oh yeah, I have the uh, brackets that I, I'm going to install right here. One right here. One right here. And, for when I move it with the big crane, I'm going to have another one right here holding this side and holding this side. Just, you know, so nothing gets too... Uh, shaking up let's see did I show anything else yeah All right here I got this break it, bracket sorry bracket right here so when the compressor turns on, not the whole dang thing shakes. This one more or less I put it a double brace just so when I move it the thing won't shake. Because you know it is copper. So all I need is another leak or something. And this one right here is also braced. Went with the vertical <clears throat> vibration absorbers. Was OC refrigeration's idea. I usually would do them horizontal. Sometimes I do one of them vertical, but uh, usually not both. I don't know, it's just the way I 
done it this way I went with both of them vertical and I agree it is better I don't know if you can see that shaking anyway that's about it guys thanks for watching